Hey, this is Frank Yosa, CEO of Ketone Aid, and today I want to talk about things you might consider trying before even trying ketone ester. Uh, I got a call today from a lady asking about uh, how to use a ketone ester for her husband for mental cognition and for brain uh, fog. And the first thing I asked is, what is he eating? And and then she starts listing these things and starts listing a lot of fruit and you know rice and just you know super healthy organic food but it's all super high in sugar and high in carbs and i said yeah you can get the ketone ester and I, you know we'll guarantee it we'll send you your money back if it doesn't work but the low hanging fruit is to get rid of the fruit and i've got a list of five deadly sins that i would say to get rid of first and those are number 1 fruit number two, rice, number three, bread, number four, pasta, and number five, fruit. And I like to list fruit twice because that is what leads into a half an hour discussion and debate on fruit. Fruit will raise your blood glucose, and if your brain is having blood, if your brain, brain is having glucose metabolism problems, feeding it fruit, no matter how organic or locally grown it is, isn't gonna help and could make things significantly worse. Um, and apart from those five, the obvious, you know, uh, sugar sodas and uh, candy, obviously. And when people in the keto world, like myself, when we refer to sugar, um, we don't mean just the white cubes that are put into coffee. That's how people that are not in the keto world they think of. Oh no, no, I don't have any sugar. I don't have you know. We're a very low sugar diet, but then they talk about how they have Cheerios for breakfast or whatnot. So in the keto world. Sugar is kind of referred to blanketly as carbohydrates and specifically high glycemic carbohydrates, the so carbohydrates that make your blood sugar spike. So the second thing that I would consider doing, even before doing the ketone ester, is getting a continuous glucose monitor. You can try to get your doctor to prescribe it to you. It might be less expensive. There's a website called AgelessRx, A-G-E-L-E-S-S-R-X.com. It sounds it's kind of weird when you go to the website because you have to enter in, uh, enter in a uh, upload a photograph of your ID and stuff like that. But this is a patch that goes on your arm from Abbott that will detect blood glucose in in real time. So you, know, you can you can see for yourself what happens when you have that fruit or that rice that your blood glucose spikes. And that spike is what you really don't what you really don't want. Even you know test out the low carb breads and see if your blood glucose spikes or not. Some people it does. Some people it might not. Um, and that really gives you a sense as to what you're eating, how important that is. And then you can incorporate the ketone ester. So if you're taking, you know, orange juice every day and you're taking ketone ester at the same time, you know, it might work if you take enough of it, but it's kind of three steps forward and two steps back. The glucose interferes with the uptake of the ketone ester for brain health. It's a separate story if you're using it for uh, sports, you know, Tour de France style. But yeah. It, I don't want to say it's a waste of money to have the ketone ester and still change the, still keep the diet. You just might not get nearly the same benefit. And why not do this low, low hanging fruit thing first? And you'll see improvement, and that'll give you hopefully give you some encouragement. And then you add the ketone ester on top of that, and great. And this is not about going full keto. That's a, a big confusion that people have. They hear, you know, cut out fruit, rice, bread, pasta, and they're like, oh, you want me to go keto? I'm like, no. Keto is 80% fat, 15% protein, 5% carbs. I'm just taking, talking about removing the high glycemic stuff. So while keto might ultimately be the goal for you, you don't have to start with that. And there's problems with starting with keto because then you get the keto flu and, and 80%, 90% of people do it wrong. So just advocating for a low glycemic uh, diet crank up the fats a little bit, eat the fats towards the beginning of the meal because that'll help your blood glucose spikes. Um, you know, liquid coconut oil at the beginning of a meal, take a tablespoon of that. Um, and if you're looking to gain weight, you can actually take the tablespoon after your meal is done because you're full, then take in the extra 100, 200 calories. Because if you do take the oil at the beginning of the meal, you might actually eat you know, less than the calories that are in, in that oil. So that's my suggestion, two things. Try low glycemic, low sugar, or no sugar, low carbs, and then get a continuous glucose monitor. And once you do those things, you'll see some improvement. And then adding the ketone ester, it'll even have even more improvement on top of that. All right, thanks. And you can email me anytime, 
frank at ketoneaid.com or text the number on the website. And make sure to join your the Facebook group. Thanks.